Hey guys, welcome back to another get ready with me. I'm doing these a little bit more often instead of it being like makeup tutorials I'm just talking to y'all from my heart about whatever topic I want to talk about you guys know I'm very plus size niche but I do like to talk about other topics other than being plus size but this is kind of within my niche a little bit because you have to create boundaries for yourself and I want to chit chat with you guys about creating boundaries during this holiday season happy Thanksgiving guys it's Thanksgiving today Woo! yes I'm making a YouTube video on Thanksgiving I'm actually making three videos today <laughs> Because I don't know how to separate work from personal life. All right. But I'm really super excited to get ready with y'all and just do this little chit chat because it could be very, very difficult to separate your mental health from family because you feel like that you have to take more or you can't separate yourself from, especially like if you're younger, it's harder, especially if you live with your parents. But you have to learn to make choices like once you're independent and you're on your own and you're figuring things out and you have that independence you have to learn to say no and you have to learn to separate yourself from things and sometimes that hurts people's feelings just you separating yourself from things that are toxic to you or make you uncomfortable or make you unhappy but in the long run it's going to be worth it because your friends and family will always forgive you so i just wanted to chit chat with you guys today about that and you know christmas is coming too so it's another holiday that you guys might feel obligated to be there and be someone that you're not but we're gonna get rid of that especially as a plus size person if you're thick plus size or maybe if you're really too people would consider you too skinny or not fit or whatever people feel about you this is the year that you're about to not take crap from anybody. You're going to be like, yo, I have my boundaries and you need to back off. And they're gonna be like, wow, she's serious about her crap. So let's get into this makeup routine. <laughs> so I already moisturized, I already put um, toner and moisturizer and serum, all that face is looking okay because I have pimples. Oh well, that's just because I've been wearing, actually I don't know why I'm breaking out, because I have a pimple right here too. But honestly, I just try not to pick because I picked at this one and now I have like a permanent dark mark there. <laughs> so I have to stop picking at my pimples because I get hyperpigmentation. I never used to be that person to get hyperpigmentation, but now it's a thing. But that's kind of a cute little mark right there. It looks like a beauty mark. Anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead with my primer and let's get into the topic of keeping your boundaries from people. So I'll give you a little bit of background on my family. Um, I'm not gonna give you too many details because nobody's here to defend themselves. If I say something that's harmful or hurtful, I would hate to like hurt anybody's feelings that's in my family because I love literally everybody in my family. So look at this, I do this every video. This is the milk makeup primer. So. I'm gonna just tell you like a little bit about my background <laughs> but not too much to where people will feel like they need to come at me I don't want to put people's business out there and if you enjoy these get ready with me don't forget to hit that like button also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you're new here joining the girl group and yeah we're gonna have a good time I do fashion and I chit chat with y'all and sometimes I do makeup tutorials not often because you know, there's so many better makeup artists that I can explain things way better than I do, and I'm just not a professional makeup artist. So I just don't be doing that sort of thing. I try to teach like beginner makeup, but not really. But for the most part, I just like to chit chat with y'all, and um, I'm also helping newer people create YouTube channels. That's like my new thing that I got going on. And then I have a separate vlog channel called Leslie D Vlog. So if you just like my personality and you just wanna see my friends and my family, that's where you would go to see that sort of content. So I will link all that in the description box, guys. So yeah, let me just finish my brows and then we'll be I'll be right with you. My eyebrows aren't perfect <clears throat> because I didn't like shape them or anything, but we'll get there later on. <laughs> but <clears throat> let's get into this little story time slash chit chat. So the thing about my family on both sides is that <laughs> They're very big personalities, okay? And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having big personalities on your, in your family. Like, that's cool. Like, it's actually really good to have like funny, genuine people who are authentic and truly who they are. And you don't wanna knock people for being who they are. So on my mom's side of the family, you would say that 
like just to give you a little bit of a background like majority of my mom's side of the family lived in the uh in the peas um if you guys don't know what that means it's just like they how do i say this my mom's side of the family grew up in the projects for the most part and my mom lived there up until she made a life for herself because my mom you know took her out took herself out of that situation heck she even helped get other family members like her nieces and nephews kind of out of that situation but majority of like my mom's side of the family because my mom you know my mom has one sister and my mom you know grew up in the projects of queens astoria and my mom is really really funny however my mom don't take disrespect very well <laughs> so she's the type of person that you know will speak her she will speak her opinion she will uh state what she feels and if she feels like someone's disrespecting her she don't mind uh taking it outside if you know what i mean because my mom is just about that life like she's just always been like that however like it's so funny because my mom used to have a best friend that's also from queens and she used to get into fights all the time i think because my mom just is like she my mom she my mom has a reckless mouth like my mom will literally hurt your whole life with her words and she's really good at that she's actually really good at like being funny like not only is she funny but she can hurt your feelings if she really wants to <laughs> so uh so that side of my family is very like you know well my mom anyway is very outgoing and she doesn't take disrespect well she's very big on respect like i was raised i don't even like even though she like doesn't care if i curse in front of her now i never i've always had so much respect for my parents that i don't curse in front of them and if i do it's like an accident like i never actually would ever come up the side of my mouth and say a curse word <laughs> because i just respect my mom and my family so much you know and then on my dad's side my dad lived in I don't know where my dad was born i know this sounds crazy i'm pretty sure he was born in like i think queens but then they moved to kentucky for a little bit so my dad could have been born in kentucky but i don't actually remember nor have i ever asked maybe i'll ask him today because i'm gonna see him but um he was born either in kentucky or he was born down south but majority of his life he lived in which is where i went to high school and majority of my family is now Actually, that's not true. A lot of them moved, but for a long time, majority of my family was in upstate New York. It's a little bit different. Like they had a, my, my grandmother was a single mom and she actually used to commute and she built a life where she ended up making so much income and she ended up <laughs> becoming like the vice president of her company, I believe, but I, you know, don't hold me to the facts, but my grandmother ended up being very successful and my dad has been working at the same company since i was basically born he got a job and he's been there for like i want to say like 30 years but i could be crazy i don't know but, but, but you know i just be big up facts he's like 50 he's been there since he's 20 so it had to be like 30 years he's been at the same company however my although like he didn't live in like he wasn't like uh what is the word spoiled or anything like that because he had you know a single mom and two brothers he didn't have to like grow up and be hard like my mom had to grow up and you had to be hard if you weren't hard you're gonna get beat up from my understanding and my mom did a really good job of sheltering me from a lot of that although i was aware like i i'm literally i don't even listen to hip-hop and that's crazy and i live with my mom until i was like 14 years old so the fact that my mom did such a good job of keeping me away from like that harsh life like kudos to her however my brother um which is such a soft topic a sub, uh, my my mom had her first child very young and he unfortunately had to live in the city and live that life although i did live in the city for a little bit for majority of my life i lived in upstate new york i didn't have to worry about living in uh <laughs> Like in the, like, I didn't have to worry about gangs or I didn't have to worry about, like, even though there were gangs in upstate New York, I didn't have to, like, really worry so much about that. And so I'm basically giving all this background because I want you to understand, like, where my family comes from and why I am the way I am. So I, my mom says I'm, like, the Mary Poppins of the family. 
which is actually very accurate because I love singing. I love musical theater. I went to college for musical theater. We actually lived down south for a little bit. I actually found theater when I moved back to New York when I actually moved in with my father at 14 and or maybe it was like 13 because it was like eighth grade and I got to see a little bit of all lives like even though I didn't like I didn't luckily I didn't like grow up in the projects or anything like that I didn't have to like be subjected to anything wild because you know when you grow you are where you come when you come from a certain place you have to move a certain way I didn't have to do that and I lived in like the suburbs for my teenage years and although like I live in an area like I lived in an area where we had all different types of people. We had people who were from the city, so they knew that they walked the city life, and there was people who lived up here their whole life. There's people from like the country, like it's just a whole bunch of different types of people, different, they all look different, they all move different. So it was just like, I got to experience knowing all different sorts of people. And I'm not a fighter. I am not big on being disrespectful. I do, however, have a big mouth because what happens is I have opinions about things. So for me, I would always get in trouble with friends and family because I have no problem telling you how it is. But the thing is, is that when you have no problem telling it how it is to family members that throw hands, you kind of get stuck because you're like, oh, like, I'm not going to bite you. <laughs> like, I'm not going there with you. And my, my mom's side of the family will fight first, talk it out later. And I'm very much like, I'm running. Like, I'm not doing this. So... The reason why I give you this background is because I just come to the conclusion that if I'm going to celebrate a holiday with family, it's going to be on my terms, how I want to do it, and if it's not on my terms, or if we can't come to an agreement, a, agreement of what we want, I'm not participating. And it sucks because I do have a little brother, and I do want to spend time with him, but he knows, and I think everybody knows how important it is that my mental health is sane because I can go off the rocker. I can be screaming off the top of my lungs, driving, talking crazy, and I and I never want to be, I don't want to ever feel like I need to be ever put in that position ever again because you, for me, like, it's been so important for me to, my whole life, to show my family, I want them to be proud of me. Like, I was stuck in this mindset where I needed my mom and my dad and my brothers to be proud of me, and now I'm finally off of that it's kind of created a lot of friction because I don't care what anybody has to say about me or to me or about anything and if I don't ask you for your opinion I don't care and that rubs people the wrong way because before I would just be like oh I'm sorry now I'm like all right first of all I have my own opinions I'm not going and I don't like walking on eggshells too so for a while because the thing is is that like People will freak out. Like, they will yell, scream, shout, throw tantrums. And I'm the one who will just sit there, like, or I'll start crying. And then I'm, they're like, oh, you're sensitive because you're crying. I'm like, no, I'm crying because you're hurting my feelings about what you're saying and what you're doing. And you're scaring me and your actions scare me. And I'm not going to say who that is or what that is or anything like that because that's not what this video is about. It's just about knowing, like, when, you, when to back away from family members and when you feel uncomfortable feeling safe to be like no like this is I I'm here you guys have to meet me here and if I'm telling you this bothers me and you continue to do that then I'm not going to come around and I know a lot of people will be like oh you're going to regret not having a relationship with your family you're going to feel like you know silly about it in the future you're, when they're not around you're going to want that time back and it's like I've only tried over and over and over and over again to make people understand that this is not okay. Being mean to people and threatening people and yelling at people because you don't agree is not okay. And I take full responsibility of anything that I do because I know I do have a mouth and I do know that there's things that I say. I'm very good at arguing and I'm very good at making people feel like they're losing an argument and people do not like that like when you're very articulate and you can express your argument really really well and you're dealing with some people who really can express how they're feeling very very well it doesn't go over well especially like when i said they throw hands first and then ask questions later so for me i'm like this i'll even say i'm not hearing you like i hear you're trying to tell me something but i'm not listening like i get that you're trying to you know 
give me a lesson or you're trying to talk to me but if I literally tell you like yo like I get that you're trying to tell me something but I can't I'm not hearing it you should hear that person out and listen to what they say but that's not the type of family I have so I mean my dad was very much like that like I, there was a time where I thought that you had to fight it out because when you're raised a certain way you think like oh like we need to sit here in this room together in a toxic scenario until we figure it out like we we want to sit in this room and be so angry with each other that we want to literally harm each other instead of being like you know what let's regroup and talk about this later like <laughs> that's that's the part that you know my family hasn't gotten done yet we don't we haven't figured out how to be like let's talk about this when it settles down because we always come back to each other so i don't know why there's always this fear like oh you don't want to leave on bad terms because you never know what can happen and i'm like i get it like i get that mindset of like anything can happen like you could lose your family like tragedy can happen whatever whatever but i know for a fact that my family knows that i love them and if they don't know that that's on them that's their problem that's not my problem because i made it very clear about how i feel about them i've told if you tell them like look i love you but this is what i need for me and you decide to keep your peace and something is to happen to that family member you can't hold yourself accountable like you did what you could for what you it's kind of like when you're on an airplane they say make sure you put your own mask on first before you put someone else's mask on it's the same analogy in life like if you are you get anxiety every time you go to a family's house and there's always an argument there's always an issue there's always a uh, friction in the family you have to say like I'm not doing this anymore so <laughs> it's so funny because I was talking to someone yesterday and I said why are, why we, are trying we trying to force, to force this, this whole Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving thing, thing? we can go out to eat in our own cars we can all get there separately talk it out have a good time get drinks and then leave on our own terms why do we feel obligated to be at each other's houses for hours drinking when obviously nobody holds their liquor well in our family like why can't we just be like all right because i'm very good about being like all right i'm ready to go I don't like being around people. I don't like going to people's houses on Thanksgiving. I like to be with, like, the best Thanksgivings I have, it just be me and a person. Me and maybe two people. But when I have to go to people's houses and we're cooking, and I would prefer just not to cook and just be with each other. But no, we have to do this. We have to do that. We have to, and I just am not built like that. I don't want to put on a show for people. I don't care. If I love you and I really care about you, I will go and have dinner with you or lunch with you throughout the year i don't mind being like hey sorry i couldn't make it for thanksgiving but next week let's grab lunch because for me mentally i don't like large gatherings why do i have to force myself to do something that makes me uncomfortable and neither should you you shouldn't be doing anything that makes you uncomfortable if you feel like this holiday you know that there's fights you know that it gives you anxiety you know that it pushes you over the edge like then don't feel obligated don't don't make anybody make you feel bad for the decisions that you make um I, it's so funny because uh, me and my sister <laughs> will literally cook our own food sometimes we just get a rotisserie chicken and we just chill out for thanksgiving i think we spend almost every thanksgiving when i'm not out of town together and it's just like our thing now like we like eating the food that we want to eat cooking the food that we want to cook not feeling obligated to you know talk to people because i very much have this new thing ever since everything happened with the world change i call it the world change because a lot of stuff has happened ever since everything happened with the world change um i my social battery is like so <laughs> i had to talk to someone about my car yesterday and i was just like this is like over i'm like i haven't had to speak to a stranger in so long that i felt literally uncomfortable <laughs> i didn't i was like lauren that was such a weird encounter for me because i didn't really want to say anything i felt weird because we just as a new world like i went a whole year talking to maybe two people in person for like a year and a half and now we're going out into like public and i have to be like hey like can you move your car like that's weird so basically my point is, is like don't do not stress yourself out for anybody if your family really loves you they'll forgive you they'll understand your boundaries and they'll say because if not then they're just being selfish they the people have to be okay with you doing what's best for you 
and like I said if they if someone just in their family decides that they don't want to accept that then that's their loss not yours you tell them what you're willing to do hey I'm not comfortable with being there for Thanksgiving but would you be willing to meet me next weekend here or maybe we can go on a trip together alone without the whole family just because the whole family doesn't spend time together doesn't mean that they don't love each other. It just means that certain personalities don't mix. And I'm not saying that everybody should avoid each other. I would very much prefer to have a one-on-one -on -one dinner with everybody in my family than to force this large group of people that have issues all the time. There's so many issues all the time. And I'm not going to tell you, like, even on both sides of my family, there has been tips man like and you know i take accountability for every side of what i've done like i'm sure that there are things that i could do differently to create a little bit more of a understanding with my family to make them feel more comfortable with whatever i'm saying maybe i could articulate it something different you know i always will hold myself accountable to my actions always 100 percent however there's just certain things you just can't control and I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm, I don't do it anymore. My sister knows I do not do it anymore. Everybody knows if I don't want to go visit family, I'm not going to. I don't feel obligated. I don't care what holiday it is. If I don't want to buy you a Christmas gift, I'm not going to. And it's not because I'm being selfish, it's because I'm just not going to. I'm not going to stress myself out trying to buy gifts for everyone in my family because I feel obligated. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of the holiday. And then another thing is, is that that's another a completely different thing. Like when Christmas comes around, don't feel obligated to buy people the things that they oh can you buy me this can you buy me this type of shoes can you buy me this type of blah 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 like yes you want to get people what they want but people really should learn to be appreciative of whatever they receive and that's why i'm not a big fan of this holiday i don't like getting receiving gifts like at all like although like it's fun in the meantime but like the whole process getting up to it it stresses me out i don't like shopping for people i don't like because the thing about me is that if i'm gonna shop for someone i want to get them what they want or what they need but what it's really supposed to be is like oh i saw this and i thought that you would like it it might not be a million dollars but you can use it but i don't know man i don't know why we feel so obligated to make everyone happy my sister knows it I be telling people, I'm like, I'm not getting you nothing. And that's just the truth. I even told her, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get you a gift, but she, actually I have a surprise for her, she doesn't know. But I be talking like this all the time. Like, I know everybody wants to do nice things for their family. And I'm not saying not to do nice things for your family, but don't break the bank, put yourself in debt trying to impress people that don't even understand your boundaries to begin with. If me buying you something establishes whether I love you or not, then that's their problem and not your problem. Because what we're not gonna do is stress me out. I'm n I never stress myself out with this. I mean, now I, I mean, I used to now. If I'm not physically gonna see you on Christmas, you're probably not gonna get anything from me, unless you're a kid. If, if you are a child, like if you are my nephew or if you're under the age of 18, I kinda like, my little brother has missed out on a lot of holidays just of like, just personal like mental health things and drama that has happened and I feel bad about it and I invited him up here for Chris for for on um, Thanksgiving but I don't know it just didn't end up breaking out and I feel so bad sometimes because I don't want anyone anyone in my family to feel like I abandoned them because it's not that but like I can't help you if I can't help me like I can't if I'm unhappy then what's the point of us you know forcing this like who wants to see someone be miserable because they're uncomfortable with the situation that they're in nobody wants to see if they really care about their family member they're not going to want to see that they're not going to want to see them be stressed out freaking out about and that's why i really hate the holidays because my family will stress themselves out about impressing people who are coming guests and i don't care about what anybody has to say so I'm stressed out because you're stressed out and now we're all stressed out and I didn't even care to begin with but since you care so much now I have to care and now the house has to be clean even though nobody house is ever that clean and if they are really clean oh well maybe we should have hosted it at your house don't come over here judging me and you didn't even host nothing that's my mindset y'all over here worried about the things that is, hey oh you don't like my house oh you never have to come here ever again how about that everybody knows I do not be caring what anybody got to say I went so many years caring 
about what people have to say and what people want me to do and how to not hurt feelings. If what I'm doing is hurting your feelings, I'm sorry, but it's not intentional. And like I said, who wants to see someone be like, why would you force someone in an uncomfortable situation that they don't want to be in? I was talking to my um, dad the other day and I was like, why? He was like, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm like, nothing. I'm going to be by myself. I'm not going nowhere. He was like, oh, that makes me feel bad. I'm like, why would that make you feel bad when that's what I want to do? Nobody should be alone for the holidays, but I don't mind being alone for the holidays. I don't like it. I've been, there's so much in my subconscious, so much negativity that it gives me, like, I don't even like, I don't even like thinking about it. Like, I'm good. Like, when I don't have to do anything, I am at my happiest. I don't, like I said, I don't have to impress nobody. Nobody has to impress me. I don't have to freaking, I don't know. Like, I just be feeling good. Like, I don't really have a lot of friends either. Like, I have, like, maybe, maybe three friends I can call. And be like happy thanksgiving but they know i'm not about that life like i'm just not like this i'm not a holiday person like i know people love, like i love christmas music but i don't like the whole thing like it's just scammy i don't care to buy people i don't care to buy people gifts if i want to buy you a gift i'll buy you a gift it doesn't have to be for a holiday but unless i get excited if there's something i know that you want and I thought about you, then that's different. But like, for me to feel obligated, I don't want, it's just so silly. If I can't think of what I want to buy you and I buy you socks, be happy. I got you socks. I thought about you. I would be happy if I got socks. I don't ever, I've never complained about any gift I ever got. And then people be like, I don't realize you're so hard to shop for. I can, I never know what to get you. That's because I don't want anything. I don't want anything. All right, so I'm going to show you guys my whole outfit like I do for every get ready with me. I'm going to show you, um, I'm honestly like my hair has been struggling because I cut it myself and then there's some heat damage from um, I did use my flat iron a lot more than I should have I actually flat iron my hair I had my hair straight for like a whole month straight and that like really affected my hair because you know I'm very natural and I don't have like any I use like natural products and stuff a lot so as you can see there's like some really long curly pieces that are not really like all that would like have to be cut off like and i have no problem cutting off any of these pieces of hair like i don't care because i'm at the point where i've seen so many beautiful wigs so let me just go ahead and get my hair together because yeah i have no idea what i'm gonna do i cut i guess i could just leave it out and like this but i have like these bangs but you know what now you can't really they're not really pr predominant right now so i probably could just wear my hair out i think i just have my head my mind set on doing and you know what's so crazy my face looks so light but i promise you in real life it doesn't look that light it kind of matches my chest but i look a little ashy i try to show you guys my outfit but the way this lens is set up so this is my outfit again I showed you another view of it, but it has like the pockets. I'm just so comfortable. This I know y'all are like, this is Thanksgiving. We're supposed to get dressed up, but no, I don't be doing that. Oh, and these are the press ons up close. So you guys can see on my camera. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you learn to create boundaries with your family. I hope you guys decide to do things that make you happy. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Worry about what you think and what you're going through in your situation. And if you, it makes you feel more comfortable to be with less people or, you know, maybe step back from the holiday, then go for it. That's, I, that's, my, that's my opinion on the whole thing, okay? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next Get Ready With Me. Peace. Sir, do you want me to?